Hello guys, today I'm gonna explain how you can automate the splitting work inside Tasker. As you know, you can retrieve information from the internet and after that you can split variables and do some other stuff. So in some case, when you have to split a lot of variables, it can be very painful. So in this case, we're gonna use another thing and I will explain that. On my screen, you see in the background my browser and you see also the information of the movies that playing right now. So for example, 12 Years a Slave, American Hustle, etc, etc. Those are the movies that are playing right now in the cinema. So we're gonna retrieve the title of all the movies that are playing right now. So as you see here, the second tab is my source code. As you see, all the titles are right here with this code, class, band, title, oversicht, and then each one and between the brackets is the title so we're gonna retrieve that information inside tasker here you see that again it are the same brackets so in this case i don't know how many titles there are i can count that right here one two three etc etc but i'm not gonna do that so how can i know how many times I have to split it. I will explain that right now. But first of all, let me explain how it really works. Let me open an example. Here inside my home screen, I have here an icon tools. When I click on that, another window will pop up and let's open movies for examples. One moment, please. I will retrieve the information. At this moment, they are playing now 20 movies in the cinema. The movies will be now shown on the screen. And as you see, you see all the movies right here. And we have 20 movies right now. You see 12 Years a Slave, American Hustle, Never Humbling 12 Plus, FC the Computer, etc. etc. You will see also those movies right here. So as you see, I can also scroll inside my list right now okay and you will see also here the title and then you see an icon of IMDB when I click on one of my results IMD will be opened right now and it will search for that name and then I can choose that movie and I will see the information of all the movie inside IMDB okay that's just an example you can do whatever you want but in this example I will do it with IMDB okay how can we enable that let me show you first of all I'm gonna open Tasker here I'm inside Tasker I have a task called movies cinema and I have also a scene and that scene is called movies now that movies now scene is a little bit like the tutorial I showed before for retrieving multiple contacts inside your contacts. So I'm not gonna explain that, okay? I'm gonna explain the task. Let's open the task here, yeah, movie cinema. And you will see different things. First of all, we're gonna say, one moment please, I will retrieve the information. That's quite easy. The second thing, we do an HTTP GET. I'm not gonna explain that either, because I explained that also in other tutorials. Just retrieve the information from my website and move it inside a text file. I'm using a text file movies now. You can also use HTTPD variable, but I'm not a fan of using that. Because when I use a text file, I can send that also, for example, to another device and I can use that again. So for this example, I'm using a text file. And then we're gonna move our information inside our text file to a variable movies now. Then we're gonna do a variable search and replace. So I'm gonna open the source code right now. And you will see here, for example, here, that's my title. We're gonna search for this code. That's, that's the same as this code. 
and then we use point and star if you are not familiar with point star it's like a wild card so in this case we are looking for that and everything that come after that and we move that also in the verbal movies okay then we're going back and then we use the for function the for function is similar like a loop so for the verbal this movie that's another one items from movies okay here in step 4 store the matches inside movies that verbal and the verbal movies can contain several items and the several items will be this movie i hope you understand that then this movie the item that's inside movies we're gonna do a verbal split we're gonna split it with the splitter this one okay then we have this movie one and two so after that we're gonna split that again with the second part this one and then we're gonna do an area push we're gonna create a new array and the array will be movies title and inside position one we gonna use that results this movie 21 inside position one i hope you understand that i was talking about areas in previous tutorials when you don't understand how areas works please check my other tutorials as well and then we do an end for so for this example we're gonna do a variable search error please and then we're gonna do a for so this will search all the titles and then we do a for function and that verbal movies will contain several items this movie and this movie the different items we're gonna split with a code and split that again so we only have the title inside it and then we're gonna move the title inside an air and then we're gonna do an end for and then we have number 10 the say command at this moment they're playing right now and then we have our array and then we have a hashtag between brackets the hashtag between the brackets are the numbers of variables inside that array so movies in the cinema the movies will be now shown on the screen okay and then we do an array process we do a reverse so the first movie will be the last the second will be the second last etc etc so we reverse the order and then we use the show scene for this example i used overlay blocking full window okay let's go back and let's open right now our scene movies now and i have here a menu inside that and we use the source a variable array and the variable is movies title and we use also the item tab and we see here a variable set so we're gonna move the label from the item we have tapped inside the variable title then we're gonna destroy our scene because it's an overlay full window blocking and we're gonna destroy that and we're gonna do an auto launch query and inside our auto launch query we use the nickname imdb for example okay and then we do an auto share and the package is all package one the app is auto share and the action is search and the query is title so for this why i'm doing first this and then that i can use also the package of imd inside this but if i want later on use another application or an app i just have to change this one and it will be executed in the next step so i don't have to change number four later on so i hope you understood everything inside this one it's not that difficult we use arrays we use variable split we use menus we use scenes we use auto launch we use auto share but you can make it whatever you want if you like this is just an example how you can retrieve that information so for the main part remember the for function a variable search and replace 
and how you can use that. It's not easy to explain that. I hope you understood what I tried to say. If you have any questions, comments, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up on YouTube and you can leave comments on my community or on my YouTube channel. See you later. Bye.